Well, we all know the holidays are right around the corner. Everyone's thinking about giving gifts and buying gifts, but don't forget about presentation in your home, especially at your table for Thanksgiving. They say presentation is everything, so we're Justin H. He's a fashion designer. You're the founder of Just 10 yeah. H. And we're going to make some fancy changes to the Thanksgiving dinner table that aren't going to break the bank. No, not at all. You know, we're going to use um, things that you already may have at home or just some regular cut-up material that's easy. Um, let's start with the napkin. Okay, right. yeah. Right. The napkin is really hard nowadays because of the the napkin rings are so expensive, you know. So we want to do something that we can kind of, you know, show your creativity, but also to still make a clean, great pre presentation. Now, how much if you were to buy four napkin rings? Let's just say, how much would that cost? Well, they're twenty-five a piece. So you're thinking about almost close to a little $25 over twenty-five a piece. Yeah, the good sturdy ones are at twenty-five dollars. Wow! Can you believe that? Wow! When I was a kid, I used to play with my parents' napkin rings. Now I feel bad. Right? Exactly. <laughs> you know. So maybe just Sorry, paper towels bad. on Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> no, but you want that's the thing is you want to take it up a notch. Paper you, towels you for every do. other day is fine, but right. not for to, Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving, you want to take it up a notch. Of so, course. You know, the regular black napkin, you know, it looks kind of blah here. Yeah. And you, you know, know it, when it is on the table at the beginning or after the meal and everybody throws it on the table, yeah, you're right. It's going to make the table look like junk. Exactly. So what we want to do is we want to do something that it spices it up. So we have this plain piece of material here, but it has a little bit of color to it. Mm -hmm. You know, a little, and you want to do it just like you would do your regular napkin ring. Take it from the middle. Seth, why don't you try? Well, I was going to say, I, can, I need all the practice it. I can get. <laughs> no, all right, so you make it into a square? No, no, no. no. All right. That's <laughs> it. This is, this, well, because if it was up to me, <laughs> I would do I would do paper napkins well, now, on now Thanksgiving. Now we're going to learn how Leave to do it a classier way. All right, here Leave we go. Open. Pull it right from well, the no, middle. No, no, other way. The other way. Let's not uh, show the tag. All right. Remember, we right. said presentation's everything. Presentation's everything. Right. Unless you don't know what you're doing. I won't judge you. So pull it right from the middle. You're going to come to my Thanksgiving party anyways. So you should have this. Similar. Similar but different. Similar but different. <laughs> a little bit. So what you want to do is from there, okay. you want to take this. Underneath first? Underneath and around. And then you want to make a knot. Just a plain old knot? Just a plain knot. Not a bow or anything like Justin, that? Not a bow just yet. Do you recommend ripping these tags I off? I do re recommend it. Uh, some people have a phobia with that. So I really? Would recommend, uh, oh, I take them off all the time. Even when they say don't take it off, I always do. Some people like to keep the tags. I would keep take the tags off. Yeah. Okay, from there, you're going to fold over. It's just like how I tie my shoe? Yeah, but and fold over that way. Okay. Yeah. And then let's knot it like we would do a bow. Easy and that's enough. just a simple piece of fabric. You can get remnant fabric at any uh, at fabric any, store. I, I join now, what's, did you say Osgood. remnant fabric? Remnant. What's that mean? It's kind of like the remnants, like what's left over. After exactly. Oh, you get, like, is that is it cheaper? Oh, yeah. Definitely. What a great definitely. idea. You get that for like a dollar. Yeah, I can make, a, I can make a jacket or something out of all that remnant fabric. Same don't bunch. do like Chef did and just fluff it. You, know, you, <laughs> you got to fluff it. You want to make it pretty. fluff it. And then there you go. There we go. Look at how cute that is, and that doesn't cost twenty-five dollars a piece. No, that's for sure. No, very you're affordable. You're talking a dollar fifty a yard. Wow, and that really dresses up a simple black napkin. Simple so black. You got to remember, once it's consistent, it always looks great. Yes, that's Consistency true. Consistency is the key. Now, now over here, let's I switch see over here. Actually, I'll just can do a switch room with right. you if you'd like. Teach Justin, Ashley how to do you that. You have so many different uses for ties. Ties. Uh, Belts, tie. curtain. Pull back, tie I back. Love, I love the tie, and I think a lot of people get it mixed up where they don't think that you can just use a tie for a neckwear. You can do it for anything. Mm -hmm. So we've done it with the actual regular placemat. And what we want to do is, you want to do this? I would love to. All right. I don't know if I'll be good at it, but I'll try. All right. So what you're gonna no, do? No, you'll be is, better than I was. You know, oh, you know what? We'll both do. I'll watch yeah. you. That's so you're gonna bring this area up on the side. Oh, kind of like you're making a paper airplane. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, see, it's not that easy, is it, Ashley? No, it's not. It's, it's not, not that, that easy. easy. Wait, you went too fast. Okay, let's didn't... start again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, someone's having trouble, aren't they? Hey, away. this is Bring harder than yep. the napkin set. Then the middle. <laughs> yeah. And then kind of clench together. There you go. Okay, all right. So we can make a good bow. Okay. All right, you take that tie, I take this one. All right. So okay. leave it folded just like that. Don't don't use the whole big tie. Oh, oh whoops. You want to leave it, it folded. Yeah, okay. Just like that, so we don't have a lot of access. Yeah, okay. And so from there... You want to go just like doing like you were doing before with the knot. Okay. Now you have to get similar colored ties, right? You probably wouldn't want a rainbow of ties. Not a, I mean, you know, you, you know, you could, but mm -hmm. you want to make sure that it's color coordinated and it's consistent. It's I guess consistent. so. Even if it's different colors, make sure the different colors are consistent. Exactly. Consistency is key. So you're gonna take the other one around. Yeah. Put it through a little hole at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Look if at I that. can do this, anyone can do this. That's for sure. <laughs> that that is. <laughs> that is true. I'm and not so crafty, but I learn a lot. The fluffing out part. The fluffing. Okay, Justin, I'm assuming the more you do it, the better you the get. The more you do it, the better you so get. So, mine's not as pretty as Justin's, but 
It's not bad. And now, <laughs> but all well, you have to do is just tighten it. Well, yeah. you two were doing that. Yeah. I don't mean to show off or anything. You said you were doubting my napkin skills. I picked this up at a restaurant when I was younger. You put a little plate on top of this, you'll have the best Thanksgiving ever people talk I about for years. I never doubted it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if we have time at the end of the show, I'll show you oh, how you can I make something awesome like this. I'm actually very good. impressed, Seth. I Justin, know. these are great ideas, <laughs> and they you. don't, really, they don't have to no, cost you anything. No, anything. This is something that you can use, right? Very Grab your husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put him to work. Right. Snag all my time. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Thanks, Justin. So hey, nice to have you. Head on Mass Appeal. We're